Hey guys, this will be my Friday Night Magic deck for a while. I'm doing FNM Lion, where all these cards I got for free, uh, essentially from the store, and anyone can do this because you can ask your store for the free intro packs. So we have 18 mountains. Uh, most stores are going to give these mountains for free, but the intro pack does have them. Four conclusions, so I was able to trade for those. The hardest card and the most expensive card we currently own now are these, and that's actually one of the best cards in my opinion. So we have 18 lands, we have four conclusions, four Taylor Swifts. We can't afford to get them altered, unfortunately, at this time, but maybe in a... Why don't... Okay, our goal is to get four Taylor Swifts altered, um, and that using FNM money, right? Somehow, our trade. Wild Slash. Call of the Full Moon is actually one of the best cards. So if you put this on any of your one drops, it becomes a, if you put it on Taylor Swift, she becomes a beast and she, she can attack for five that turn and just gets insane. Like it is a huge, huge um, ability to have you attacking for five on turn two. Chandra, I mean, we need better, we definitely need better uh, damage spells, but what can you do? Uh, we probably need to add another one of this. This card is very difficult to block. Blood, obviously, is a good card. And we get to our... We only have 18 lands. I think we can go down to 17, but that seems a little greedy. Uh, Goblin Glory Chaser. This is a card, a one drop is not bad, especially when... You have four Infectious Blood Lust, and that's the type of deck we're playing at this point. Uh, we're playing a deck that really relies on its one drop and then pumping the one drop. This is a Lightning Bolt most times. Um, Titan Strength is very, very good, as is Dragon Fodder. So the deck actually should work pretty well. I'll give you guys a report come, I guess, like Monday or next Friday to see how the deck goes. I'm hoping to win a Path to Exile promo. That would be very, very good uh, for this project because then you could trade the Path to Exile promo for other cards. But this is the deck. I don't have much to trade anymore. I, I don't have enough to... I think my first goal would be win enough to get someone to buy me sleeves. So that's like... I think with a pack to Path to Exile promo, I should be able to trade that into uh, sleeves. Um, and I'll have like a little indicator right here next time of like how much money we spent and how much money has gone into the deck. Obviously right now the deck has zero dollars into it. It should be operational. I play decks like this all the time in limited. Now that being said, it is limited, but I do have a very good feeling about this deck. So I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. It will definitely be a journey. Again, I have access to no other cards right now. Um, outside of just a few other very janky cards. So we will see how far we can go. I mean, winning the Path to XR promo is very important. Or going to game day. What happens in game day is not many people go. The game day promo is Languish. And even if I just go, I get a game day promo. I get the full art promo. I mean, getting a foil Languish promo will be huge. So I suspect that we will be going to multiple game days to try to cash in. Right now we have $0 invested in this particular deck. Um, but once Friday Night Magic costs $5, hopefully we can get some type of store credit. And hopefully we can win that Path to Exile promo. Uh, it's going to be a fun journey. I really feel excited about this because Magic for a very long time hasn't been that fun for me to play. And this is going back to, I mean, as cheesy as this sounds, it's going back to Magic Origins, right? To the origins of playing this particular game. And I feel like that's awesome. Bye, guys.